What's up, everyone? I've got another game of playing someone I haven't played before. Uh, Weedy Dog, a.k.a. Bradley Robbins. He's a one- or two-time school scrabble champion. I don't remember how many times, to be honest, but uh, Nasper rated about 1,500 or so now. And I do know his game fairly well, or at least I know the way he used to play it a while ago. I don't know how much he's changed, so we'll see the kind of game we get. The tendency I know for Bradley is he does like to bingo a lot, so we'll see how I exploit that or if I exploit that this game. Good thing I'm not going first. Um, okay, now I am going first, so it's unfortunate, but uh, I really just see Axe or Abo. Those are like the only real viable options. Hmm. Yeah, I just... Oh, Box. Box is a word, too. I'll do Box. Um, Bradley's already exchanged three, so you can tell he's going for a bingo already. Um... Box is not super defensive, but neither were any of the other options I had available last turn, so you do what you can. Uh, it'd be cool to play Soja next turn. It'd be Oh wait, no, oh, Ob is not a word. So it'd be cool to play Joe next turn. Nice and defensive, and if Bradley does bingo, I guess this becomes his best line. So, he, oh, he might bingo this turn. Yep, there it is. Um... So that's that, my turn. Joe now goes here. 24 points, terrible leave. Jar or a jar, but I don't really like those plays either. Oh, Soja's gonna go here, that's gotta be the play. So Soja it is. I'm really glad I didn't miss that, that would have been embarrassing and Bad for my chances of winning. No bingos in this rack as far as I know. Um, a little fishy play like jaw might be the right thing to do. Um, yep, I don't think that's going to give me any new bingos. But I do need to think about this turn. I can't just play jaw. That would be silly. AW here is 18 points. B-A-W here is 18 points. Jaw here is 21 points. Sets up the S. It looks like a solid play. I guess I need to make a kind of philosophical decision. Do I want to fish right now or not? But with this line here, this line here, the Jaws line I'll be opening up, and then I guess two marginal floaters, maybe even three if you want to count the V. Fishing seems fine to do. So I'll play Jaw. And I'll draw EI and cool. I mean, that's one of the downsides to fishing is, yeah, it's it's a very volatile thing. It's, yeah, I'm going to bingo next turn and score 70 and have a great rack, or, uh-oh, I'm going to have a rack like this. I won't be getting points. I think I say that just about every single game I put on YouTube, and that's because it's very, very true, and it's a very important lesson for people to learn. Exile's an option. Dive is an option. Leave is an option. Still don't think I'm bingoing this turn. If I want to blow it up, I can play Elides for 29, but I just don't don't really think that's the right thing to do. I plays Cola for 32. It gets rid of my plays over here. 24 points would dump the S. I still think Dive or Live would be the correct thing to do, just playing right here through the V. I don't want to play Devil, would rather hold EILS. Um, I could just play Vi. 
but I just don't like that with the R, the S, the D behind it. Like, I'll be getting a stronger leave, but I'll be giving up four points and probably a lot more next turn to Bradley, at least like four or five on average, I think. I'm going to go ahead and play dive. I'll probably draw a bunch of vowels or one pointers and not bingo again. So here we go. Up a W. So it won't be bingoing. Yeah, I don't really see much to do with this wreck either. Um, the uh, board's kind of walled in at this point, which is kind of what I like to do against Bradley, but it's huge for S's, so if Bradley gets one of those. And I don't know, there's not many scoring opportunities available. Oh, I have Jawline. That's a nice extension. It'll score me a bunch of points. Um, it'll give up some, but it's so many points. So I actually have a play that gets points now, 34, um, as opposed to, you know, whatever, almost nothing over here. Louise maybe is the best scoring play. And if I don't want to get rid of the S, then I've got practically nothing. So he plays Kiwi. Jawlines is still available. You can also play wins for 36, but I'd rather keep that S, I think. I'm going to throw down Jawline. I hope Bradley doesn't bingo. It doesn't really look like he's close after V-O-G-U and I-I-K. So. I'm, I'm just getting further and further from a bingo. Um, let's see, there's Fisk. 57. But I feel like that gets blocked a lot. Wise is 51. Yeah, so my, my plays there got knocked out. I don't think I'm going to get any sort of play making jaw lines. Weft, so I'm probably going to end up playing the S and burning it there, even though it's so big on this board. Uh, there's just nothing else to do. A few, maybe, but... Does that warrant giving up an S on a board where S's are huge? I don't think so. Cofts or wefts? I'm so tired of looking at double U's. I want to get rid of that. Or I can play Cowiest. That's 39. Yeah, that seems that seems better than the other things I've looked at. Cowie is just to be the play. Again, I burn the F or the uh, S, but sometimes you got to do that, and I think this is one of those times. There's still two more for me to draw, and yeah, we'll probably be racing to it, seeing who can get it first. But gotta score those points. Q dump for thirty-one. Cool. Um, if I really want to, I can start walling things in and play Vela here. Kind of balances the rack out, but it, I mean that, that turns the game straight up into a let's see who can draw an S first and get a bingo there. And that's not something I'm, I'm thrilled about doing. I'm the overdog in this game. I'm favored to win. I'd rather turn it into a, you know, slug it out. Let's see what we can do. But I just don't think I can do that much about the cab spot. It's going to sit there. I don't think I'm going to get a good blocking play here. That just lets Bradley score a ton. That's awful. I think that's paranoid. And Cabs is still available, even if Scab isn't. So, hmm. Yep. Not sure what to be doing. Um...
I just can't find a better play than this, and so I think I'm going to make it. I might be missing a clever setup or something, but I'm not seeing it now. So I'll do that. Uh, drawing a, a hook here is going to be pretty big, too. If we can hit a 40-point play, that'll give a, a person a lead. Oh, wow, we're not expecting, expecting Bradley to bingo over there, but um, he did. Cool. And I don't think I've got a Z play over here. I don't think I've got like any good counters to that, which is annoying because I was trying to, to keep well. Um, Unite might be the only long word I have. That's 20 points. That's not worth playing. Z is 32. Ugh. Really need to draw one of those S's pretty soon. Cause I'm getting into a, a worse and worse spot as this game goes on. Now that he's now that he's bingoed too. Z doesn't turn over very many tiles. I'd like to turn over more, but if I play Unite or Untie, then I'm not even close to a bingo. And then the the point of drawing the S is, is mostly gone. I guess an F Z S play here would be big, but I'm asking for a lot. The S is also big over here now, too, so. If I really want to, I can play Fizz, I can keep Unite, and if I draw the S, I'll probably be bingoing next turn, but I think that's so volatile and just a little bit too desperate right now. Fuse is another option, just end it right there. Oh, 28, or I can play it over here. 34, this is going to give Bradley a lot more points back on average. But at the same time, it scores six more for me. And if Bradley wants to go here, fine. I'll play here. If Bradley wants to go here, fine. Hopefully I'll draw an A and play here. So I'm just going to go ahead and play Foos, Fuse, however you say that word. And we'll see how Bradley chooses to respond. I'm kind of hoping it goes over here now because I've got Primo. Um, I guess you'd have to put a tile here that overlaps or just do, do something up on the top. If I get a floating E, I'll hit Orpiment, but the only way I'm getting an E that open is if Bradley's bingoing, so. Uh, okay, so Bradley played over here and didn't give me any plays back. It's about the worst case scenario for me. Um, don't think I've got any plays here either, so that leaves me pretty much just with the Diver spot. If I play Primo, I keep Divert, which is kind of nice. Not super nice, but if I draw a high-scoring tile, I can play here. I really need to be focusing on getting one of these S's now, though. That's I, I'm kind of in a position where I need to bingo now. I can hit 31 here and maybe draw D and hit here and catch up, but that seems like a stretch. Um, I keep looking for plays over here, and I just don't ever see one. I wonder if there's any other... I don't think there is. I'm gonna go ahead and play Primo. We'll see what I get. Still no S. If I draw an L, I believe I'll have Ethylene. Not draw an L, get an L. Um, Yet is gonna go here and balance stuff out. 32 points. Which is cool, scoring points is good, but still really want to hit that bingo ASAP. Um, one thing I guess we need to look at now is there are very few vowels left already. There's five, and there's 23 unseen tiles, so Bradley may be in a pretty bad spot balance-wise, and if he isn't yet, he could be soon. So maybe I can exploit that, exploit the fact that he won't be able to score very many points, and I can actually claw my way back into this game. Um, looking at tiles, that will go here, because if he's able to hit me with a something-something PS or GS word, I'd get that would be it, just the two. 
Dreggy. Hang on, I'm holding that. I don't know Dreggy. Um, Bradley does know a lot of words, but sometimes he also messes up, and I know he plays a bunch of Collins. Uh, Dreggy implies that he doesn't have any, uh, vowels, or he didn't. So if I can challenge it off, then I gain a turn, and he's in a bad spot. Mm, this is a tough decision. I think the odds it is a word are about 70%. Mm. I just, I, I, I'm pretty convinced that it's a word. Not 100%, but I just... I feel like I'm just going to lose a turn if I challenge. Um, Tind is 30, yet it's 32. I don't know which one to play. I think just in efforts to try and draw uh, another S, I'm going to put down the extra tile. So let's do it. I got them both. Great, that means Bradley can't do anything about this spot except make a little dinky play up here. So suddenly there's a lot of hope for me again. Um, that's cool. I can even get rid of one for 32 in a play like this, keep a balanced rack, and save the other one to go here. Uh, it does telegraph to Bradley that I've got an S if I do that, but... Eh. Like, what's he gonna do about it? I don't think this rack bingos, but I don't know anything, so... Who knows? Um... I don't even know what, what the potential, like, maybe valid bingo in this rack is, so. I can play Shin over here for 30. H-E-E-R-S might actually be a smarter thing to keep, because if I... It, it just looks a little bit nicer. I want to play off fewer tiles right now. Um, he's going to play Roti. E-N-R-S versus A-E-E-H-R-S. -E -E I don't know what to do. Um, this also knocks out Divert. Bradley may see it, may play fat, and I'm in a bad place. If I score 32 points right now, that'll put me at 323, so I'll be down 14 in a turn. It's not inconceivable that, you know, holding Shin for later, I can actually fight my way back in without bingoing. Um, ENRS is so strong for bingos, so weak for scoring. HEERS does a little of both. Um, but I feel like I'm going to have to draw, like, one of these A's and the P for heapers. I'm not seeing too many things I can draw. Headers, heapers, heaters, rehears. Uh, maybe themers is a word, but I don't think so. Heteros. There's some things I can draw, but I'm just not seeing a lot of them. And this knocks out divert, so I'm going to stick with this play and see what Bradley can do. I draw two U's, um, but I don't think Bradley's going to be emptying the bag this turn, so I'll be able to get rid of at least one of them if I need to. Mm. Actually, am I? I don't even see somewhere I can set down U's. Oh, man, Bradley just got 39 points. That's devastating, and I don't think I've got a U fish. I don't see a single... Oh, wait, no, I see Moo now. Okay. I have a U fish. Oh, and I've got Ut. Wow, I'm just blind. Um, so I can put this down. Let's see what I'm going to bingo. Natures is 2 out of 10. If I draw an R, I lose. If I draw an O, or O, I get Aranus. Aranus. Um, if I draw an N, I lose. If I draw an M, I get Manures. If I draw an F, I get Furanes. If I get a D... I get unsure. Asunder goes here. So I'm going to win the game, I think, 5 out of 8. Well, not necessarily win. Bradley can still do something about my bingo, maybe. But I'm going to be in a good position. Uh, 5 out of 8 draws. Um, I don't think there's anything that makes more sense than this. 
Um, if I play off two tiles, Bradley knows exactly what my rack is, so I'm going to go ahead and dump Ut. Actually, let's think for just a little bit longer. Maybe if I play Moo instead, Bradley literally cannot play in this spot. But I don't think there's almost anything I can do either, like EAR or something. I think the spot's just not going to score enough. Um, well, if he has all consonants, then maybe, maybe I can fight my way back into the game. Like SE something here, and then... No, no, I'll just grab the extra two. No, I won't. I'll play Moo. Final answer. I've drawn a Sunder. We'll see what Bradley can do about it. Um, MOTT is going to give me a Sunder here. Um, I'm just trying to think of like anything he can really do. He's probably going to want to knock out the Cabs spot more than anything. The odds of me having a bingo starting in a Vow are... I think the only one was... was well, Asunder and Aranus were what I saw. I don't know what's in the bra bag for Bradley, so I don't know what he's thinking I could be drawing, but... Uh, yeah, it's just a matter of sit and wait and see if I can hit the out bingo or see if Bradley's able to come up with a clever block to stop it all. Um, what can he do? Mourn is going to give me out bingos. If he just plays M-O, well then I've got Don Sure. If he makes a play down to the Y, I'm just trying to think of like words he can do. Tori or something. So that gives me story. Like 40, F-O-R-T-Y. I guess that would do it, but... Is Bradley going to have the guts to play 40 down to the Y and leave this open? You know, I feel like something, the most likely thing is like M-O-T-T -T or O-R-T or something or O-F-T. Just trying to get rid of everything and make me have a bingo that starts with the vowel. And of course I will, but... And I don't know what the tile unseen to Bradley is, so that's going to change his logic one way or the other. Hmm. So yeah, we will sit... And we will wait, and we'll see what Bradley does. I did play this game a little bit quicker than I usually do. It's because I'm meeting a, a couple friends in a couple minutes, so trying to get this one done ASAP. But I'll be done in time, I think. Bradley may spend all 10 minutes here, and then I'll be in a little trouble, but I know my next move's not going to require much thinking. I'm not going to go through the end game if he is able to block everything I've got. I'm just going to play something pretty quick. Sears 28 would hold Fund or Undy or I guess he would play over there so I definitely had to get lucky to win this game. I had to draw the S's for the cab spot. If Bradley even had one right now, it'd be easy for him to block. So I, I needed to get both. That was big. Um, and then I needed to hit my fish here, and that was not the most likely thing either. So certainly got lucky at the end. And uh, I think if I had played the beginning sequence a little different, if I didn't make it come down to who's going to draw this S. I could have avoided that situation. Maybe Vela wasn't the right thing to do. Maybe I should have thought about playing FETA instead, keeping ELV just because the F takes the hooks on both sides. Maybe I should have challenged Draggy. I'm still not sure if that's good or not.
Um, and then I probably shouldn't have fished as much as I did at the beginning of the game too, with like the whole sequence with dive. And uh, I think there was one other kind of fishy play I made. Maybe there wasn't. So, oh, jaw. Jaw was very fishy. And if I don't do that, the game turns out differently, you know? So. Hmm. Oh cool, I got all four S's this game. There's Mott. It's kind of what I thought he was going to play, and I'm going to bingo out with Asunder. You can see Bradley knows what's happening, but... Um, so that's the game. Cool. I got it at the end. Lucky fish. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you would have done anything differently. I will catch you later. Adios.